Well, a North Fort Myers member of the legislature has an idea for fixing the high cost of property insurance, and it's an unusual plan coming from a member of the Republican Party. As the Tampa Bay Times reported, State Representative Spencer Roach discussed his idea this week at a House committee meeting in Tallahassee. His idea, instead of Floridians paying hurricane premiums to private for-profit insurance companies, they could be covered by the state-run citizens' property insurance and probably for cheaper. It would be modeled after the National Flood Insurance Program. Private insurance companies would still provide coverage for fire, theft, and other damage, and even wind coverage if they want it. Roach said the move could save residents money and there would be savings because fewer premium dollars would go toward company profits or payouts to insurance executives. But the citizen's president and CEO cautioned that taking on the state's hurricane risk could make it difficult for citizens to acquire reinsurance, which is insurance that insurers buy ahead of storm season to pay claims. Representative Roach has firsthand experience about the problem. His home was destroyed during Hurricane Ian. His insurance company was St. Petersburg-based United Property and Casualty, which initially denied his claim before going out of business. He was eventually paid through the Florida Insurance Guarantee Association, which levies assessments on property owners statewide to pay its claims. But the representative still had to take out $100,000 in loans to rebuild his home. So for years, I think, especially uh, conservatives in Tallahassee have said, no, we can't expand citizens. We've got to depopulate and go to private companies. But here's a conservative who says we ought to consider citizens as a solution to the right. crisis. That, that's going in exactly the opposite direction that the state's been going for years. Um, this bill, of course, will not pass. As a matter of courtesy, they gave Spencer Roach a hearing on his bill, but it's, it has no chance to pass. But it, it seems obvious that something somewhat drastic has to happen in the field of property insurance in Florida sometime fairly soon. For four successive years, the legislature, in the face of this crisis that's literally driving people out of their homes, driving them out of the state, has done nothing but make it harder to sue insurance companies. Um, now, that's... Um, harder to sue insurance companies. Right, that's, that's... Fraud against insurance companies and litigation is part of the problem, but information that's been presented to the legislature has showed that it's not by any means all of the problem. There are significant other problems in the way the insurance companies run their business that are at least also a partial cause. Hmm. Alex, uh, uh, what's your take? How, how do we solve well, the insurance? Is this a way to if solve? If I were the chief financial officer, what the chief financial officer of this state ought to be doing is commissioning an independent study and analysis of insurance in the state of Florida. The reason the Republicans have been in the pocket of the insurance, private insurance industry for years and years and years, and that's why we're in the mess that we're in. And I have to applaud Senator Roach because he had personal experience finally of what it could be like to be on the other side. So there's a growing sentiment that, you know, Florida could take over writing through citizens all the insurance. I'm not sure if that's a good idea, but we need, we need an, you know, I'm a math worker. We need an analysis of what would that mean? How many billions of dollars would be, we Floridians be on the hook? And how, how would that money get paid off? Is it gonna be on the backs of us as the Floridians? Uh, as opposed to spreading the risk. It's not a one-stop-fits-all so solution. We need a study. It looks like we, a Hurricane absolutely. Irma From hits us again. And independent what would sources happen? like a state a university or something like that so that we could understand what are all the pieces that have to be put together instead of continuing to have these one-off ideas that this is going to be the silver bullet. There is no silver bullet. Okay.